Hi everyone, my name is Christina Werner and welcome to my YouTube channel. I decided at the beginning of 2023 that I would choose a theme to kind of focus on for every single month. And in January, I focused on mail art and mailing and just getting cards in the mail. For the month of February 2023, um, I originally was going to focus on color and picking colors. Stay tuned, that's going to be next month. But for February, I decided, okay, I need to do something that is very timely for me. Before I move on and focus on anything else, I've got to address the biggest pain point in my like work life right now. And I do this YouTube thing and design products as a profession. And my biggest pain point right now is what you cannot see on camera right now. Everything out of frame. Like if I went like this, that's part of it. <laughs> that's... um just a mess that's everywhere. So my theme for February is going to be uh, clean your space or clean my space, I should say. I'm gonna be focusing on organizing my craft room, uh, redistributing where things are in my craft room to make it more efficient for me, and just really address the main part of the problem of why my craft room can become so cluttered all the time and I think the main reason for that uh, lies in that age-old fra uh, phrase or saying, a place for everything and everything in its place. There are so many things in my craft room, things that I use all the time, every day, that don't necessarily have a home or somewhere to go in my craft room when I'm done using it. So I'm going to kind of focus on that for this month. I've got a couple other kind of methods that I'm going to be using as I purge and clean my space. Um, but for now, let's take a quick look at my craft room. Um, I filmed a little bit this morning, so let's go to past Christina. Thanks, future Christina. I'll take over now. This is early morning of January 30th. I'm going to give a quick documentation of the current state of my craft room. Um, I did this a few years ago. Like, it's embarrassing how cluttered and disorganized this is at this moment. The reason it's like this is there's just, I don't have a good system of keeping things in their place. And I really want to address that this month. So over on this side of my craft room, I, I really want to find a way to keep this uh, countertop completely clear of clutter. Because there's things in front of these ink holders, I don't use those inks. You know, I can't access things. And so it prevents me from using all of my wonderful, beautiful, colorful supplies. And isn't that sad? I want to change that. Um, over here in this corner, same thing. I just want to clear everything out. I want space for everything. Speaking of, this top shelf, what is this? Is this where boxes go to die? Let's Let's address that. Um, so I just have these different zones in my craft room that I really need to address. So my plan for the month, oh my gosh, don't even think about that corner back there. My plan for the month is, um, I, you know, every few days or so, I'm going to just focus on one area, give myself, you know, an hour to organize that area and really focus on that area when I start cleaning this up and I'm putting things away in other, other areas and I'm like, oh, that needs to move over here. And then I get distracted and I spend time over here. I'm going to just keep reminding myself, no, go back to where the focus is for today and finish that area. And then after that area is cleared, it is a no-go. I can't put anything there. So if it's if this space is cleared, I can't put anything there anymore. That is, you know, so eventually I will hit every single corner of this craft room and in theory be cleaned up. So that is the, the plan. Since I am documenting each space, I just want to give you an overview. This is <laughs> my island currently. Like what? There, everything under the sun. You can tell what I have been working on by if it's out and just roaming free in my craft room. Oh my word, this corner. This corner needs to be addressed sooner than later. Um, my plan for this corner is I would like to get it to where it's just die cutting stuff over here. I thought, oh, I'll put die cutting and cutting things on this cart. No, it just clutters the area. I need to get rid of that. I need to get it up on the counter. 
I also am going to be making a photography station right here. I used to take photos of my cards in a different bedroom, just one of our spare bedrooms. And I just had the thought to myself, this craft room is too nice and too large to not contain everything that I do. There is no reason that I could not figure out a way to make this work. So um, Ariel up here, I love her. She's probably going to have to move. She's going to move over a little bit. And then I'm going to have a flat paneled soft box right there that's going to live so that I can take photos right here. You kind of see it kind of have a setup right there for my photo last Friday. The, this soft box right here currently is too large. It's not going to work. So I'm, I'm, I figured that out. We're going to, I'm going to have something a little bit more permanent, but that will bring my photography station back into my craft room. And I think that's going to be really efficient for me and also free up space in other areas of my house. Like I, I don't need to have that in another room. This is another area that's going to take a little bit of time to address. So these cabinets right here have tons of storage space in them, but I find sometimes I haven't opened them in two weeks. Why am I not using the space inside of them? I think it's because I just, like a lot of us, I collect a lot of stamps and dies and things like that. And I just, um, I'm not using these items. Like I should go through them and pass them on to someone who will. So there's going to be, I think there's going to be a few days where I'm just going to have to purge my collection and put things into giveaway boxes and send them out the door. I need to get everything that's out on my counters inside these cabinets and come up with some sort of working system that I can like funnel through new product and keeping what I'd love to keep in my permanent collection, but also allowing things that I'm not going to be using, allow them free and go to, you know, have them live somewhere else, give them to loved ones, give them to all of you, do giveaways more often, something like that, because having so much product has become a burden and it is hindering creativity and stopping me from using this beautiful space that I have created for myself. It has stopped me from using it to its best ability. So I need to address this because the, this being full of everything that I'm not using is preventing everything that I am using from being in that space. Does that make sense? So I've got to address this. I'm going to first address um, some other areas of my craft room so it will free up, you know, working surfaces to, to use for organizing that. But that is about where we're at. Over here on this wall, I actually love this wall. Um, there's a, not a whole lot of surface space for me to put clutter on. I've managed it, managed it but... Um, I'm planning to do some additional things to help organize this because I have so much paper and other uh, paper products that are just like roaming free in my craft room. I need to just corral everything into one space. So I've actually already ordered some more inserts to go in these cubbies. I'm going to move some things around and really make this a usable, workable space for all of my paper storage. So that is something that I think I could tackle right away. And I remember years ago, I was, um, I used to listen to the Dave Ramsey radio show a lot and it helped me get out of debt completely, which is amazing. But one, one of the principles that he shares with, you know, tackling any monetary debt that you have is if there's like low hanging fruit, something really easy that you can do, you might think, oh, I can just do that later. I'm going to tackle this really hard thing first. No, do the low hanging fruit. Give yourself a win so that you have the motivation to keep moving forward. So I think this will be one of my first areas to tackle because I think that's going to be one of the easier ones to do. As soon as those inserts from stamp and storage come, I can slide them in and start organizing, organizing my paper. That's going to be one of the first things I do. Thank you for viewing my craft room in its current state. It is crazy. It's amazing I get anything done in here. I'm excited to get going on this. I've got lots of plans, but I'm also going to break it up into sizable chunks. I think I'm going to share quite a bit on Instagram and I'll try to bring that over here to YouTube for shorts or some of the stories over here. But I will get, I will like the aim is to have some actual like full length 
content here at YouTube. So I hope you'll come back and check that out. Thanks so much for joining me today. Just a heads up that um, I'm going to be out of town for a few days, so there will not be any videos on Friday or Monday, but we'll get right back at it next Wednesday. So thanks so much for joining me and I will see you guys next time.